What is an antibody drug conjugate? Antibodies, so blind antibodies, or yeah, naked antibodies, I guess is the best way to describe them, are just designed to recognize something. So you don't really need to know anything more about them th than that. So if you have something that recognizes your cancer cells, those antibodies will go to the cancer cell. Some of them will then fix the immune system to that cell. That's powerful. It's the mechanism of action of daratumumab and isotuximab. Maybe you could make them more powerful by using them to deliver a kind of silver bullet, something that kills the cancer cells. So we can now link drugs to the antibodies, have them only delivered to the cancer cell. So you deliver a big dose to the cancer cell, sufficient to kill it, but then you don't get side effects from having other cells in the body exposed to that toxin. And so they're really interesting. And the leading product in this area in myeloma is Belantamab, which is an antibody that has MMF attached to it that kind of kills the, the, the cellular process of cell division, so it kills the cancer cell stone dead. Antibody drug conjugates are a class of drugs which use an antibody to target a specific antigen on a cell, but then they carry a payload of chemotherapy that deposits the chemotherapy directly into the cell. This works by both mechanisms of antibody-dependent cellular cytotoxicity and chemotherapy-like cytotoxic mechanisms in most cases. This is something that uh, has been tried in multiple myeloma with a drug called belantamab, uh, mafodotin, uh, and has had success in patients with refractory disease. Antibody conjugates are another exciting field. And essentially, we have what are called naked antibodies. And these are drugs that just latch onto a marker on the surface of the cancer cell to kill them. But we know that if we conjugate this with a toxin of sorts, we can kill even more cancer cells. So there's a number of drugs in clinical trial now that are not naked antibodies, but they latch on to the cancer cell and actually inject the cancer cell with some type of toxin. It could be anything from a liver type toxin to a radiation type toxin, and that gives us enhanced tumor cell kill. And yes, they're a type of immunotherapy. Yeah, so an antibody conjugate is basically uh, a, an antibody where the uh, stem or the constant region, the uh, IgG region, for example, is linked through a linker to a specific drug. For example, a drug that is a tubular toxin when similar to things like Taxol or older sort of chemotherapeutic drugs. The benefit of this antibody drug conjugate is that it actually delivers that drug directly to the target of the antibody. And so by uh, having, uh, for example, uh, BCMA uh, antibody drug conjugate, uh, BC may being highly expressed on plasma cells, you are able to deliver a toxin directly to BCMA positive uh, cells, the plasma cells. So there is such a drug uh, being developed by GSK uh, that is in some phase two and phase three studies. This drug is now FDA approved and known as Blenrep. Are antibody drug conjugates chemotherapy or antibodies? Yeah, I think that this is something that is often uh, asked that is an antibody drug conjugate chemotherapy or is it antibody? And honestly, I think it's more chemotherapy in a targeted manner, but uh, obviously it has the, the function of an antibody as well. Are any of these conjugates in clinical trial development? There are actually several uh, antibody drug conjugates in clinical trial development. We have already got one that is FDA approved, but there are others that are targeting a variety of antigens in the myeloma cell, including others targeting BCMA and other antigens on myeloma cells. What are the toxicities of an antibody drug conjugate? The toxicity of an antibody drug conjugate is heavily dependent on the, what the antibody is conjugated to, the chemotherapy molecule. And this varies from ocular toxicity to nerve damage, to marrow suppression, to liver damage, depending on what the payload is. 
Who would you consider the right patient for an antibody drug conjugate? I think who is the right patient for an antibody drug conjugate is an evolving area. Uh, I think as we get more treatments available, the practice patterns change. Right now, the only FDA-approved antibody drug conjugate is approved for patients who are what we call triple-class refractory. They have a disease that is refractory to a proteasome inhibitor, an immunomodulatory drug, and a CD38 antibody. The field of myeloma is fortunate in having several options available even for these patients now. And for a given patient, I think a physician and the patient has to decide which of the options is best. Is it an antibody drug conjugate or is it an alternative uh, treatment? Often these decisions are made based on the toxicity profile of these drugs, the efficacy profile, and the issue about practical issues like how, how frequently the drug has to be given. So I think it, one has to individualize the decision, but right now it is for the triple class refractory patient population. <music>